Hello again, this is Andrew Culkin, uh, the author of Amanda, A Cautionary Tale of Alcoholism. It's the story of my wife's 20-year decline with alcoholism and her passing a little over three years ago. Now today I want to talk about the third stage, and they call this the late stage of alcoholism. And this is when things start to get very, very ugly and things go very, very quickly go downhill. <laughs> Uh, now, we've talked about stage one and stage two, the beginnings of alcoholism, the habits of alcoholism, but after 5, 10, 15 years of habitual chronic use, the third stage uh, is where you really enter into it. And it can, it can come quicker than five years, but generally 5, 10, 15 years is when it's recognized. Um, and at that point, a person is completely dependent on alcohol for their day-to-day -day use. Uh, dependence has taken over uh, their life. Uh, it's also held hostage to the people that are they're, they're surrounded with. Um, the focus on, on that person is extreme. Uh, you have to watch that person, everything that they do. Uh, in my wife's case, just to give you a story, I mean, we were, I was at the point where uh, we had to take car keys away, credit cards, uh, anything that was attached to having an availability towards money. Uh, I would have an, you know, she would have an ATM card. We'd take that away so she wouldn't have access to money. And, you know, I worked during the day, so she, she would just order another one. Uh, there was always some way around it, or she would get a close friend to come over and, and bring a bottle of wine. It was amazing, the creative the creative power to be able to acquire alcohol when it's your your core reason to get out of bed in the morning. Uh, and it's a very sad state. Um, th this is the point where it's a mental health disease, quite frankly. It's, it's a chemical dependence in the brain at this point where you really can't live without it. There's often times where my wife would be passed out in the middle of the floor uh, downstairs, you'd be watching television, you'd be passed out on the couch, or she would just fall down on the floor. You know, we, we literally were at the point where I, I would just walk over the top of her to go to bed. Um, th this is very common, where it's completely taken over someone's life. This is stage three. A person in stage three, if they do get help, and you, you can read the book, but Amanda went to seven rehabilitation facilities. Seven. These were 30 to 60 day uh, inpatient locations, <laughs> seven. So even if you get help at this, at this point, at stage three, you have about a 5% chance, 5% of ever recovering uh, and, and having a normal life. So I hope this is a deterrent for anybody any family member that sees a video like this and understands uh, or doesn't understand what to do, because I certainly was woefully ignorant uh, of what was really going on and the depths of it. Uh, it's better to help somebody in stage one or two as soon as you are able to recognize that someone has a problem. Uh, by stage three is when we really got Amanda help, uh, but by then it was too late. Uh, the chemical dependence is already in the brain. Uh, unless that person has an extraordinary self-actualization that they want to stop. Uh, it's not going to happen. So that's stage three. Just to review, they're chemically dependent on alcohol. Chronic drinker, they will also experience intense withdrawals, extremely intense cravings. They will go without food as long as they can get alcohol. This is stage three. Again, the book is called Amanda, A Cautionary Tale of Alcoholism. It'll be out in the fall of 2024. Thanks for listening. You can, you can pre-order at www.amandaacautionarytale.com. Thanks for listening.